Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to dedicate today's video to the most worn bag that I do own and that is this baby here. So this is my Celine Cabas Tote that I own for a couple of years now. I actually talked about this bag quite briefly in a couple of videos before. You have seen it on my Instagram account. It really has been my everyday bag for the past years. So I think at this point it is quite the right time to make a detailed review about this baby. Also, I think that on this bag there is not much like review content out there on YouTube, but it totally deserves the attention in my opinion because it serves me very well. And for everyone who is looking for like an amazing work tote or university tote or something like that, this bag is totally worth looking into. To give you a little bit of an overview and some kind of structure regarding this video, I will break my review down into four parts. The first will be just general information about the bag and its features. Point two would be the wear and tear of the bag. Point three would be what fits in or what I usually fit into it. And point four, my final thoughts. So before we get started, if you are new to this channel and you actually enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also feel free to leave me a comment down below to, you know, let me know your suggestions, constructive feedback or any ideas, you know, about content that I could do for you. I would happily do so. And don't forget to like. So let's get started. So the Celine Cabas Tote comes in two different sizes. I have the smaller size in a black grained leather. I think this is calf leather and a gold embossing of the logo of the old Celine. So I am 1 meter 75 and I decided that this smaller version was the right size for me because the larger version was a little bit overpowering and just too big, too huge, at least uh, in my taste. So the measurements of this smaller versions are 50 centimeters across this top part, 72 centimeters across the bottom and 29 centimeters in height. This bag does not have a lining, which means that the inside of it is just basically the back side of the leather that you have on the outside. So on the inside you can see it has one pretty spacious extra compartment with a zipper and two little extra compartments attached to it. You cannot close this bag, however you can minimize it or like change the appearance of the bag by fastening these little leather belts on the left and on the right, which basically transforms the bag into a more like bucket shape. And of course it also makes it a little bit more secure if you might need it. The Cabas Tote is also not super structured and by that I mean it does hold its shape like overall, but it's also quite soft and flexible at the same time. So it fits perfectly, you know, under plane seats when you are traveling. It's just like the right mixture of having a not too structured and stiff bag, not something that's like totally moving all over the place. Let's move on to point two and that is the wear and tear. So as I mentioned before, I've been wearing this bag on a daily base for the past two or three years now. If you are not familiar with my, you know, general life or lifestyle, I have a full-time office job. This is my office bag that I bring to the office on a daily basis. But I have been also a weekend commuter for the past three years or something. So for my former job, I used to fly home every weekend. And for the job that I have now, I'm driving home by car every weekend. So this bag has been traveling with me quite a lot. And on those weekends, of course, a lot has to fit into this bag. So I often transport a laptop in it, heavy stuff, like, you know, my cosmetics, especially when I went on the plane, I didn't even bother to, you know, put in my fluids and stuff like that into my carry-on. I just rather threw it in there. And also this bag has been sitting on trains, under plane seats, in my car, on the back seat, in the office. So this bag is on heavy duty since three years just that you have a little bit of context. And I have to admit that it holds up amazingly. When it comes to the loss of shape, the only thing that I noticed is that the bottom edges do or did sink in just a little bit when you put it down. And of course you do see that the edges just have like super, super fine uh, wear and tear. And along the top ceiling of the leather edges, you see tiny, tiny cracks. So these are basically all along the whole part of this bag. However, since I noticed them like over a year ago, nothing happened. So other than that, these are really the only two 
things that I could notice at this point regarding wear and tear. Other than that, the bag still looks pretty good. Because of the grained leather, of course, it is just more sturdy. It doesn't have any scratches that are like visible on the bag. The gold embossing does hold up quite well. And even though I have it on me every single day, I never feel like it's like worn out or something. And that brings me to point three, what fits in this bag? Or let's say it like that. I very rarely stuff it like to the absolute max. I rather just wanna show you what I would usually put in there when I commute on the weekend or if I just go to the office. So in the main compartment, I will put my laptop, which measures 14 inches and my laptop charger, a couple of documents like a sheet or something. This little pouch from Christian Dior that I just use to, you know, stuff a little bit of, you know, some lip gloss and just like tiny bits. So in the small compartment, I would start with my wallet because I have the option to secure it with a zipper. I would also put in like my car papers in there, a lip balm and my keys. My car keys I will put in the little front parts down there. And then I could actually throw in a scarf or a sweater into the bag as well, just in case I freeze my ass off. So if I'm so if I'm away for the weekend or something, the rest of my luggage will go in my carry-on. As I said, I try to respect this bag. I try not to, you know, make it too extremely heavy because I just don't want to, you know, destroy it, destroy the shape of it anymore that I do by wearing it anyway. So let's move on to my final thoughts. And I have a couple of cons and a couple of pros, but mostly pros. So let's start with the cons. The fact that this bag is not lined and you have like suede leather on the inside, sometimes this suede does lint especially in the beginning, it did lint more. Now it's like less and less, but you can actually see it already on this Christian Dior pouch that you have a little bit of like, you know, black linting all over it, which obviously I'm not happy about. And while this gets less and less during the years, it's still there and I own the bag for three years. Another con would be the fact that you cannot wear this tote crossbody. I mean, obviously it's a tote, like a tote most often doesn't have this function. However, I am in general someone who loves to be able to wear a back crossbody. It's sometimes a little bit more soothing for your back. So yeah, that would have been like a great option to have, but it's not like a huge pain point for me. Another smaller con is the fact that you cannot close it. So I think with Louis Vuitton or other bags, sometimes you have these little closure um, buttons or something like that, that just hold the bag together, at least in the middle part. But uh, with this bag, you don't have anything like that. The only option that you have is using these belts, make it smaller so that no one can, you know, grab into the bag in the front or the back. But other than that, you cannot really close it, which of course sometimes is not the most practical. For example, when I'm driving in the car and this bag is sitting on the seat next to me, it already did happen that I had to make like a full, like, stop or whatever it's called in English, you know what I mean? That I had to like stop the car very abruptly and with that the bag just turned over and everything that was in the bag just like flew out of it immediately and landed all over my car, which of course is not a very pleasant situation. And that is already it for the cons. Now let's move to my pros. So first of all, this bag is super sturdy and super functional. It does hold its shape pretty well and it doesn't have to be babied or at least I don't feel like I have to baby it when I'm traveling or like actually using it. And that is one of the reasons why I decided to, you know, buy this in the first place. If you compare this to other like designer tote bags by Prada or by Dior, the book tote, or like even the Deauville by Chanel, these bags are much pricier than the Celine Cabas tote. And back in the days when I contemplated about, you know, which bag to buy, the book tote wasn't out there by then, I just felt like the other bags would be just too expensive for me because I needed a functional bag. I needed something that I can use without being afraid, you know, without worrying too much. The price of this bag is half of what you would pay at Chanel or Prada or Dior and you get a great product and great value for that price. Another pro for me was that it is a very minimalistic and understated bag. And that for me was also an important factor when deciding to buy it, because as I mentioned a couple of times during this video, I used to commute with trains or on planes. And I just didn't really feel that comfortable entering planes and trains all the time with, for example, a Chanel Deauville bag, because these bags are very, very recognizable 
and I was just afraid that they might get stolen, you know? So this bag still has an amazing design, but it is much more understated. It's much less recognizable like immediately and that just like make me feel a little bit more secure. So overall, I can only say that I do recommend this bag. It is an amazing, sturdy, functional and very cool bag to wear. I very, very much enjoy wearing it all the time, which I do. And I really encourage you to check this bag out if you are on the hunt for a great work bag that, you know, is versatile, that is very classic and timeless and understated, but still has a super cool design and sophisticated look about it. If you have any more questions concerning this bag, the functionalities, anything else, please leave me a comment below. I will be more than happy to answer all of your questions. I hope that this video was helpful, that you got a little bit more, you know, inside information about the Celine Cabas Toad. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.